On today's video, my wife Marie is going to be deer hunting this year. Hey there outdoor YouTubers, it's Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. And you know, like I said earlier, my wife Marie is going to be deer hunting this year. It's been a while since she's been out deer hunting, I know she's pretty excited to get out and I thought we'd kind of chronicle it a little bit through a few videos. This particular video is kind of the pre-season preparation, you know, setting the guns, getting the blinds ready, you know, checking game cameras, that sort of thing. And then we'll just kind of... Uh, go along and, and, and take it wherever it leads us, you know, if if, uh, if we see some deer, if we shoot a deer, you know, we're tracking it, whatever might happen this deer season, we'll, we'll kind of follow along and try to make a few videos out of it. But like I say, this one, this is just the pre-season preparation. Looks like I'm to the right, but in the hole. Okay. Down and to the right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's crazy fall. Yeah, it's cool out. Exact spot. Cool. Can you see that? It looks exactly like there's two holes there. Cool. But they're right connected, so. Well, that's perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, two shots right in there. Yeah, that tells me that you're. Uh, you're holding it real steady. Alright. Yeah, perfect. Good. Alright. Hearing protection. Yep, yep, definitely. Always wear hearing protection when you're sighting in. I take the string for the class. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. you are, uh, you're shooting real accurate. Um, feeling comfortable with the gun? Yep. Yeah. I know you've shot it before, so it's, it's nothing new to you. So, yeah. Yeah, you're all good to go as far as that goes. Alright. Alright. Okay. Oh yeah. Looks good. Were you hoping I fell? No, because I don't have a camera. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. I would have laughed. Don't blame you. That didn't put in place. Yeah, that's fine. It's 
going. And so yeah, so hopefully there'll be uh, some big buck pictures on there. Okay, so yeah, just kind of making it look like there's a deer there. Check and see. Oh yeah, good. And there has. Right. So we're kind of just kind of scuffing that up to make it look like maybe a buck came over here and was kind of touching up that scrape. Might make another buck think, oh, there's a buck in the area hoarding it on some of my does. I better uh, keep checking this out. So that's kind of the idea behind that. Okay, so here's our shooting window in the blind, and I've kind of got this sort of a rest for when I crossbow hunt. The stirrup on the crossbow kind of fits in here and gives you a nice, uh, a nice steady shot when we're shooting out here. But I'm going to change it up for rifle hunting. So you got some foam padding on there too? Yep. Yeah, it helps to have a little bit of foam. Just kind of keeps any kind of noise down when the gun touches down here. You know, there's a deer kind of close. And then this should just close up like it normally does. And it does. How's it look? Good. Should work out good, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Be nice and cozy in here. Got the little buddy heater. Insulated all around. Got shuttable windows. We can actually... I do have the curtains. Can open up these other two windows if we want to. Sometimes I like to keep those closed just to keep light from coming in. But, yeah, should be good. I think we're ready to hunt. Yeah. Okay, Marie, I'm going to put some time and effort into deer hunting this year for the first time in a long time, right? Yep. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been quite a few years since you seriously deer hunted. But um, you are certainly not an inexperienced deer hunter, right? These are a couple of the racks that you've gotten over the years. Like, uh, show everybody that first one there. Yeah, that three-pointer. I guess that was your first buck. It's got that webbed side. And what was the deal? Your dad, your dad thought there was some genetics in that area, hey, with that webbed side? Yep. 
he had seen a larger buck with the same on the same side. Yeah, and kind of a web <clears throat> webbing. He's yeah. Yeah. So he. And he's pretty knowledgeable. So. Uh, he's very knowledgeable, yes. So I'm sure it was, uh, mm. it was probably the same genetic pool, you mm -hmm. know, between both the bucks. And then the next year, you got this really nice six, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a dandy. So uh, you're definitely not an inexperienced hunter. And let's see, uh, then you did get one other buck. Remember, you got that spike horn. Uh, that was kind of a small buck. Um, yeah. We were a little nervous that that one wasn't even legal for a while, hey? You were nervous. Yeah, yeah. Here here in Michigan, uh, when you shoot like a spike horn, one of the antlers has to be at least three inches or longer. And yeah, you were asking me, well, how do you tell if it's close and stuff, you know, before you even went out hunting? It's like you anticipated seeing a deer like that. <laughs> and uh, I remember telling you, well... If it's not a button buck, if it actually has some kind of spikes, they'll be three inches, not to even worry about it. Well, that's kind of a decent rule of thumb, but <clears throat> it's not always true. Uh, when you, you, uh, you got a hold of me, and we went out there to get it and got it out, and uh, I got to looking at it, and I was like, I, I better get a tape measure, because it, it was kind of close. But it was, it was a good legal deer. That one antler was actually like three and a half inches long, but... Normally they're at least four or five and you don't even have to worry about measuring them. But yeah, we're, we're sweating that one a little bit. Okay. That's for sure. Yeah. But uh, yeah, me, yeah, I don't think you were too worried about it. But um, yeah, and it really, uh, in recent years, you haven't done a lot of serious deer hunting, but you had done uh, quite a bit of turkey hunting and grouse and partridge, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, you were kind of focusing on that a little bit more when you did get a little time to hunt. You know, I, I have to admit, my wife does... Does, is not afforded as much time to hunt as I do. We've, you know, we we have six kids, so at any one time we've kind of had, uh, usually had kind of a younger child, baby around that uh, needed to be taken care of. So it wasn't always easy for her to get out. But kids are getting a little bit older. Uh, yeah, and I, it sounds like you're ready to get back into it, hey? Yeah. 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 That'll be pretty cool. Yeah, and I know. Um, some of the deer that uh, me and the boys, and, and even Taylor, uh, our oldest daughter, have gotten over the years. Uh, you've always, if you've been around, you always come out and uh, help us track and help us uh, find them and help with uh, the gutting and the hanging and that sort of thing. In fact, remember that one night I was having trouble finding that one that I shot with the bow? And uh, yeah, we, we tracked it and it just the blood just kind of stopped. And oh. just didn't know where it went. I could not figure out which direction it went. We were circling, couldn't find it. It was late. I was tired, and I was like, you know, I, I gotta go home. I gotta, I gotta just get in bed. We'll, we'll pick it up in the morning. You know, we'll, we'll go look for it in the morning. And uh, gosh, I think it was like one o'clock in the morning. I remember you came in the bedroom, and you're like, uh, yeah, I went out and found your deer. So uh, was it you and Nick went out and found it? Taylor. You and Taylor. Our, our oldest our, daughter. Yeah, our oldest daughter, yeah. And our dog. Yeah, yep, and our dog Essie, who's... That was her first. Yeah, she's really become good at helping us find deer over the years. But between myself, some of the kids, family members, she's helped find a, a few deer for uh, your dad. Uh, she, she's she's good at it. But yeah, I just I couldn't believe that. I was just lying in bed, and you, you woke me up and said, Oh yeah, your, your deer's hanging in the garage. I was like, all right, good deal. So... You're not at all inexperienced when it comes to deer hunting, uh, deer tracking, uh, that sort of thing. So, yeah, it'll be pretty exciting. Uh, I'm, I'm happy that you're going to be getting out and putting a little time into it. That uh, that should be pretty cool, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it, and, and I know you are too. Yeah. So, we'll see how it goes. Um, we're going to go forward. Um, we'll kind of keep everybody posted uh, with the videos, how deer season is going, that sort of thing. But, uh, yeah. So anyways, but for now, uh, guys, remember to hunt, fish, laugh, repeat. It's Dave Knetter and Marie Knetter for Knetter's Practical Outdoors. Hey, thanks for watching and God bless.